Hello everyone, welcome to episode 8 of my Let's Play, my name is Shana Dreams, we take it off 10 seconds after I start the last video, it's going to be posted right after, uh, back to back, so yeah, uh, y'all already know what this is, uh, yeah, there's Genma following, we're going to encounter a new set of enemies right here, yeah, there's this little motherfucker, this little mofo, this little mofo, this little mofo, yeah, they're fucking annoying, I really hate those guys, because they're also electric when they hit you, come on, oh shit, Whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen. Alright, well, we, uh, like, uh, the guy told us to do, head to Mount Hiei. This, I believe, will give us a OP item in the game, uh, called a Sharon's Bell, I believe is the name. It'll revive us after death. Right? Yep, that's all right. Wow, that's exactly right, too. Awesome. Right, we can't switch out, so we don't have anyone else. Cutting wind, max that bitch out. We're gonna get a powerful weapon right about now, too, so, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's go ahead and level up her shit. Hatsu Shining Armor, put this up to level 10, so she can get, oh, hold up to two items, one more, boom, alright, now she can hold two, uh, let's do skills, she should have a lot of skills and we should have quite a few, yep, we do, um, after, I believe, after we finish this chapter, I believe we'll get an extra, uh, we'll be able to upgrade everything to level 5, and attack will go up to level 10. So, as of right now, max out this, max out that, oh, we can't, okay, that's it. Critical, deflect, there, 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 alright, and then, let's see, thrust might be best for her. Um, can't do anything there anymore. Okay, check our items real quick. Make sure we're all good. Do that. Increase our uh, increase our health by 200 or 300 instead of 100. Uh, increase attack power by three. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and put that on. I mean, sure. Uh, let's see, Sergeant. Yeah, put that on for her. Ice rifle. That is her strongest weapon, apparently. They have different types of fire too. There are explosive ones, laser like that. So yeah, gonna have to fight this big dude again. See, now we got an air air wave that shoots out from each swing, which does practically double damage, and it can hit more than one person at once too, which is also very good. Have her attack him from a distance, and now he's fucked. See how much easier it was to kill him. Uh, we can fuck up the rest of the enemies in this game a lot quicker, too, with this weapon. There's another wind weapon that's ju uh, even more powerful that I would like to use when we get to it, but we don't get to that in a lot for a while. But see how fucking powerful that is? We're gonna get a very powerful dark weapon uh, up ahead in a second, though. Wait, uh, no, wait. No, I think this one's a normal weapon. There are two very uh, similar, identical weapons that look, uh, they look very similar. One doesn't need magic, so no triangle moves, really. Well, there is a triangle move, but it's just not the same. Um, like, they are powerful, it's just, you know, using the Oni magic can literally be a lifesaver when you make stake on attack. Like, I've done plenty of times, I've seen, like, uh, I'll be in the middle of doing an attack I shouldn't have done, and I use my Oni magic to prevent me getting hit. Or killed or hurt or whatever you want to say uh, which was this one it's one of the Oni cutter let's see oh yeah that's the one without any special power but it does uh, do uh, extra thrust damage and stuff so yeah. that I mean it's not terrible I mean it's just I prefer using these they're a lot safer and uh, more useful in my opinion I mean they try to balance that kind of thing out oh he's got fuck them up for us good I uh, didn't do too much, I guess. There we go, there we go. Oh, oh, triple kill, bitches. Oh, there's another one. Oh, fuck him. We're gonna get a challenge up in here. I think, right? Oh, there's gonna be a cutscene, too, actually. Ohatsu, we're almost there. Mount Hiei, just a little. Ohatsu, what is it? Ohatsu! I'm sorry. Hideyatsu. Genma insects. But how? Why? They were most likely placed there to prevent her from betraying the Toyotomi. Is this why you were following Munenori? 
I knew this would happen when I made the decision to come with you. Then why? Why did you come? I had to. It is the destiny I decided for my... Damn, it's all my fault. What? It's not your fault. This is the path I chose to walk. No. Ah! Minokichi, can we do anything for her? We have to deal with Final Blow before she becomes a Genma tree. I can't. You know I can't do that. I'm afraid there's no other way. If you want to save the girl, there is another way. But you only have about two more hours. I'll take her with me. Hey, wait! If you care about her, come to the temple. There's no time to waste! Oh, Hatsu! Was that? I don't believe she was Genma. Rather, I would like to think she was an ally. Whoever she is, let's head for the temple. I'll do whatever it takes to save Ohatsu. Alright, uh... So yeah, our bitch just got fucked, um, right in front of us too. And they seen us because we have getting any from her. These guys will wake up. I don't know, does stepping on them wake them up? Oh, I fucked that up. I love stepping on them. But I believe if we hit them, the challenge. I mean, good. Step, still. I trigger it, I won't wait right here. I'd rather get into a better vantage point with the three of them. Probably right about here. I, I missed, wow. There we go. Now they're awake, and now challenge starts. Defeat three of them. Two, uh, two more. Oh, fuck, I didn't see him swinging. Oh shit, I could. Boom, boom. Alright, here's where we can do some damage. Oh, dude, that frame rate just dropped like a PC game. Alright. Here's that secret. No, it's not secret. This. Power, power, pony. Alright, good. Fuck him. There we go, there we go. Some XP, even if we don't win. Oh, damn it! That's not what I wanted to do! Fuck! And now he's not gonna turn around and get the other dude. Uh, we're not gonna get gold. Maybe silver. Oh, wow! We got gold! I'm surprised! What did we get? Ground gloves. Powerful gloves for... What's his face? Roberto. Roberto, however you say his name. They pronounce it Roberto, but I would call, just call him Roberto. <laughs> No, you know, you know what? From now on, he's Ricardo Lopez. Let's go. <laughs> item to the left, and I, th I think no, souls to the right, or souls to the left. Item to the right. Pick all those up. We get a thousand. That's nice. Here we go. I think it's a pear scarf. No friendship scarf. Uh, we never even got that second pear scarf from the earlier level either. <laughs> Like, that's, uh, I don't know why. Like, that's weird. You'd think they'd give us a Periscar pretty early in the game, though. Like, both of them. I don't know. From what I understand, it says to equip two. Uh. If the wearer and ally both have this equipped, they both, yeah, see? But that's only when you're with a certain character. We're gonna get a new enemy introduced to us in a sec. Pick that up. Here, new enemies can be right behind us. Yep, sleep. He's he places bombs pretty much to fuck with us. He does not explode when he dies, but he'll place bombs that explode, and then he'll run away, and he'll keep spawning until you kill him. That guy down there, but we can ignore him. I don't feel like going through the to the next loading screen because of him. There's gonna be one down here waiting to get some bomb. Target him! Shit, that was close. That was close. Oh, oh, he spawned again? They usually don't spawn again like that. Ah! Oh, it's a hit triangle. Damn it. Turn around. Turn around. I swear it's okay. Ooh. Oh, there's a few. Look at that shit. Oh, he placed it. I didn't even see it. He almost got us again. Alright, it's good. Oh my god. Back up, back up, back up. Pick up that shit, and we'll get out of here. 
<clears throat> I don't know how many will spawn, to be honest. I thought they u they usually despawn after killing one. Damn it. Fossilized bone. Oh, I thought I could get past it. Get past this one! Yee! Ooh! Ooh! Get back, get back. Ooh, get away! Alright, I should be fine now. See, look how much damage that airwave does, dude. Fucking powerful shit. Alright, absorb all that shit. Let's get out of here. Right, save points up here. That's where we get into the temple, but we have to complete some trials. We're gonna go into like some parallel dimension kind of type shit right now. Nothing to take care of at the moment. Chasing after the mysterious girl that had taken Ohatsu, Soki made his way to Enriaku Temple on Mount Hiei. The girl has told Soki that Ohatsu is slowly being consumed by Dikana insects and is in grave danger. Okay. So we're at the temple. This place is looking worn down. The sooner I can leave, the better. Alright, bring me your worst. I will awaken the Onimusha inside of me. This is how we end up unlocking actually like being able to become the on Onimusha. Now, uh... This area can be a pain. Uh, okay, so blue is where we are, and the red is where we have to go. Okay, if we go into the... There are going to be these little ripples into the ground that we have to go through uh, to go down the right path. But if we want to, we can go down any of them, really. But if, uh, if we go down the wrong one, we end up having to restart that area. But, you know, it's quicker that way if, like, let's say the place is right next door to us and we go through it... Uh, and it's the right one, you know, it's it's just faster that way if, if we're lucky. There we go, that's taken out. They'll despawn all these guys around us. Good. Now we gotta find the ripple. Or a hole, whatever the fuck you want to call it. They're usually in the corners of each area. Like, for all I know, this could be the right one. But it could not be. It looks like you picked the wrong one. Now we gotta restart to the very beginning. Uh, the entrance, and then we're just like right here, so we can continue. You know, it's not that big of a deal if we go to the wrong one. There's no, as far as I know, there's no, uh, see, now we're in the right one. There's no, uh, con to doing it, so, yeah. There was a proper way, but this way's faster to me. Alright, it's gonna spawn some big guys. This area can get very intense with how many enemies they spawn around here. Damn it. Already lost your shield, bitch. Boom! Leveled up. Oh, another one? Oh, we can't even use that. We can't even go through there. Alright, let's go. Next room. This room. Uh, I think there are bombers in this room. Yep. Sounded like that. Try this room across from us. Oh, we can't go in there. Uh, this way. Oh, big guy. Try this one. Oh, that was the right one. See? See? I'm Smarticus. Top corner. Alright. I believe there's four of these trials, I think. And then we get a boss fight at the end. Alright, this could be a little bit of a pain right here. Shit. Alright, actually... Let's just fuck them all up. Come on, bitches. Oh, wait, those guys are going to explode on me. Oh, that was close. Oh, he's going to get poison. Damn, he took... Ooh, fuck. Come on. Uh, not good. I forgot that that one's a more powerful version of the ones we've been destroying. Give it a sec to poison. Oh, he's going to stab in the right. Yep. Oh, he's out of here. Wait, I think they still explode. Yeah, okay, good. That was close. Alright, another one spawning. <clears throat> Those doors that that one had right behind it, uh, open on one, uh, what's it called? They, uh, you can open them from the back. Damn it, that's still not dead? Damn it! Oh no. Did it kill it? There we go. Good. Oh, another one? Fuck you. Let's get out of there. 
Go through here. Let's just guess. Oh, made the right one. Awesome. Get through here pretty quick. Okay. Now we got chests in this room. A save point if we need it. We won't need it. Actually, uh, probably would if I didn't heal. Fuck. <laughs> Safest way is to destroy it, but... Uh, wait, was there a thing in here? Actually, it's open. Uh, unlock that. Now we can go through here if we want. I can uh, get that key. Alright, let's check that. That's the wrong one. Okay. We'll just spawn the room right next to us. Oh, wait. Oh, it's at the right one. Shit. Uh, fuck. Alright, now we got the boss fight. Pretty much, you gotta attack him until his sword. Uh, until he drops his sword. Or it breaks his sword, I mean. There is a special way to fuck him up pretty fast without using any magic. Actually, we're gonna get two boss fights back to back now I think about it. And after a certain amount of hits, he's gonna pull out his sword back. Pull his sword back out. I'm surprised he's taking so long, too. We've done. brought him down to ha below half health. Should have spawned his sword back in by now. There he goes. Come on. Has it? Come on. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back, bitch. You already lost your sword again. Damn it. I keep timing that wrong. And got him! Ha! Bitch. How's that feel? Got the Oni Orb. Now we can use Oni Musha form whenever we want. And we get it, uh, to use the red sword now. Watch this shit. Just texting me now, great. Impossible. 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 From the sealed gate? How could he? Alright, next boss fight. Now we gotta fight uh, Ohatsua again. For the, what, second time now? Uh. You're, power you're a powerful Oni Musha. If anyone can drive the Genma Insects out of that girl, it's you. With power from the Oni Orb, you should have uh, been bestowed a new power. Now it's time to use it. Sword of Purification. Now we get, uh, there's two ways to use the sword we just, uh, that red sword. We can either stab or we can, uh, hit oh shit. Or um, we can either do a direct stab with it uh, that goes a long range in front of you, or there's a attack that's good for fighting um, large enemies, um, or uh, large enemies and uh, being surrounded by enemies too. Uh, it is a uh, spin attack. It spins around us. 
if it's positioned properly, it'll do a shit ton of damage, though, against uh, big enemies. Dude, we just fucked her shit. Oh, right, purify! Oh, I missed! Damn it, and she's gonna regain health now. She's gonna regain health because we didn't do it. I forgot we had to use that to get her out. Alright, that'll be the last one. Oh, shit! Damn it! That didn't work. Alright, and give it a sec. What? Not yet? I missed! How'd that miss? That should've hit her! Fuck! We'll get another chance. Ow, fuck me. Let's give her a sec. Wait until it says purify. And hit her this time. There we go. Hideyasu. Huh? I'm so sorry. Oh, Hatsu. You have nothing to apologize for. There is nothing controlling you anymore. Ohatsu, you are free. Hideyasu. I mean, Soki. I will always be by your side. Where were you an hour ago, or three hours ago? <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's safe. Okay, and then we gotta, like, complete missions with only Ohatsu. We gotta end up rescuing Jubei, Roberto, and Tenkai. But now we got this chick, who's also very smart, like Tenkai. That but she's not as useful. Again. It seems as though you have awoken the Onimusha inside you, Black Oni. Who are you? Who am I? That's a silly question. We are linked very closely together, you and I. What are you talking about? The grand conclusion will bring us together. The god of darkness? Hey, Soki! Soki! Ah, it's you, Arin. <laughs> it's you, Arin? Is your head screwed on right? Of course it is. Didn't you see the man dressed in white just now? Oh, he's gone. He's one of them. That's not likely. This place is filled with Oni magic. A Genma could not come within a mile of here. Just my imagination, then. What about Ohatsu? Yes, I don't see her. Where is she? Uh. Her clothes were destroyed in that battle you two had. She's changing into something else now. <laughs> what are you smiling about? You'll see. Come on in, Ohatsu. What do you think, Soki? Oh, uh, honey. We know what's on your mind now. Oof. You are styling, Master Ohatsu. Thank you, Minokichi. Uh, um, well, the clothes I was wearing were shredded to pieces. <laughs> what do I think? Uh, they look great. <laughs> Good. Pick your job off the floor, Soki. Well, anyway, your old ones were awfully cumbersome, so these should make it much easier to fight the Genma. I wore those baggy clothes to try and hide what the Genma insects were doing to my body. Good. Before you go off and try fighting any Genma, you'll need your rest, Ohatsu. Okay, language transformation. Demon blood. Everyone gets their own form of Oni power. What? What? Yes? Okay, we're gonna read everything. The Genma Insects Cursed. I let Munonori use the Genma Insects buried inside my body to control me. I was too much of a coward to choose death over life of him controlling me. You're not a coward. Enemy, any human faced with the decision between life and death will choose life. You also had your sister to think about, Hideyasu. There's nothing controlling you anymore. Will you choose to fight with me? Of course, Soki. Ohatsu's sister. Lord Hideyoshi started to act strange after Cha-Cha gave birth to his heir, 
Hidori now he's out of control. He started planning the invasion of the continent with the aid of the Genma and assassinate his nephew. Yeah, that's why I left the castle. I needed to find some way to put a stop to him. Lord Hiyoshi now not is your uh, oh, Jesus Lord Hiyoshi is not the only one that has changed even my sister Chacha has lost her sanity Chacha after becoming Hideyoshi's concubine uh, uh, and giving birth to Hideyori Hideyoshi really started to adore her and he even uh, he even gave her Yodo castle that's how she got the name she was known by now Yodo that's right but my sister didn't like being called by that name she seemed to like her childhood name Chacha better it's her true name so that's only natural it's a shame that Hideyoshi's madness has taken hold of Yodo as well she was a good woman, but now she is just a cold, heartless woman at the head of the Toyotomi clan. I wish I knew what happened. The Marksman Magoichi. I learned everything I know about the about guns from Magoichi Saiga. He's the famous leader of the Saiga Shu gun troop. Well, he was anyway. All leaders are given the name Magoichi. The one that taught me how to shoot is retired now. He must have been something. He was. He even fought against Nobunaga long ago. Ohatsu. Hey, Soki. Yeah. Uh, what is it? I'm engaged. Oh, there was a suitor and my sister had approved of him. I couldn't refuse. I've never even seen my future husband's face, but if this all hadn't happened, I probably would have been married by now. Oh, well, you are Nobunaga's niece and Yodo's sister. It's only natural someone uh, would ask for your hand. Who's the lucky guy? Kaiyoku. Kaiyoku. Goku. Wow, he comes from an impressive family, so uh, congratulations. But I, Hideyasu, you're the only... Never mind, forget I brought it up. Bitch. Uh, no, but not your blood. I meant to ask, but it seems like you have a special power. It's obviously not related to the Oni, so what is it? It's probably from my uncle Nobunaga. He was my mother's older brother, and the power is our blood. In our blood, my uncle was once called the Genma King and tried to conquer the land. I think I share some of his power. There's something frightening sleeping inside of me. Uh, Nobunaga is the main, uh, main leader in the third Oni Musha game. When all this is over. What are you going to do when all this is over? Same thing I've always done, live by my own rules. I would like to travel as a uh, faraway land, maybe that country where Roberto's from, Espana. Will you take me with you? But aren't you... I want to live free with you. Okay, that's it. Alright, combine anything? Yeah, we got a lot of shit. Secret meds level 2, secret meds level 2, antlers, that. Friendship scarf. Pair scarf, we don't want that shit. All right, that's it. All right, let's talk to Arn. About Arn. You want to know about me? I'm clever and cute to the boot. You shouldn't say I'm clever and cute to boot about yourself. You're just like Tenkai, no fun at all. What is your relationship to Tenkai anyway? He's like a war buddy, a partner in battle. Battle. Now Tenkai is a monk here, and I'm just watching things while he's gone. I used to fight along with him, but there's something here that I have to protect. I can't say much about it. You're both full of mystery. She uh, is a little fairy. She okay. Um, so, uh, Tenkai is Samanasuke from the very first Onimusha game, and this chick is supposed to be a little fairy that used to follow him around. Why she's human now, I don't know, but she's not as uh, young as she looks. Uh, just like Tenkai. I'm sorry Tenkai was protecting us. Why are you apologizing? It was Tenkai's decision, decision to save you, but you've been with him long uh, for a long time now, aren't you sad? I guess the reality is of it just hasn't hit me yet. There's n there no one else like him. It's hard to believe he's gone. It's all I think about now. I'm not sure how to feel. Don't get me wrong. It's not like we're married or a couple or anything, so try not to misunderstand. I don't know how he feels about you, but how do you feel about him? Me? Oh, well, I feel... Uh, she has trouble lying. Reminds me a lot of Jubei. Now, he ate this, the... Uh, Lazu Lion Hall within the Enraiyaku Temple on the Mount Hie. Wasn't this temple, go temple burned down by Nobunaga? You're right, I did my best to fix it up and make it comfortable, but the fire is why it looks the way it does. Something about this place calms my soul. It's a sacred place for the Oni clan. Yugenma essence cannot enter here. You have Oni blood in your veins, so maybe that is why you're responding so well to it. I mean, his last hope. It was all kind of a blur, so I don't remember this. Uh, remember it clearly, but there, was a, there were a lot of powerful enemies waiting in the gate. That's because the Oni Gate is where all of the Oni who have been corrupted by the Genma gather. They were, uh, they were what you fought against. Oni corrupted by Genna. Be careful, Soki. You're the holder of the most terrifying power, humanity's last hope, the Oni Musha. You have the black power that no other Oni has ha ever had before. If you were to ever succumb to the darkness and travel down the same road that Oni beyond that gate did, you would become the worst enemy humanity has ever faced. Trial has helped to cleanse your soul and change the dark black of power to a more pure form but the danger is still there i don't care what happens i would never turn my sword on a friend if i looked like i was about to fall into darkness i would take my own life um 
Yeah, there was a red and a blue Onimusha, I believe, and that's it, I think. Hideyoshi. It was terrifying, all those gematries and Hideyoshi's incredible power. With that strange essence surrounding him, we didn't stand a chance. With Tenkai, we all would have died. Without Tenkai, Soki's awakening. I cannot believe it, I am so amazed, huh? With what? You, of course, Master Soki. You became the Onimusha and returned from the Oni Gate. I have always been an admirer of all-powerful warrior, the Onimusha. My father said there was nobody braver or stronger than one. Now you have been awakened as the Onimusha. I could not be any happier than I am now. Calm down there. Mount Hie. It feels nice here. There's something relaxing about this place. Yeah, there is. It's. I'm not sure why, but it feels like this place is free of Genma influence. Aran has put up a special barrier around here so that the Genma cannot easily desecrate the sacred land. It appears we are safe as long as we stay here. Several ways. I hope that Master Jubei and Master Roberto are okay. I'm sure they're fine, but poor Master Tenkai is... It's all our fault for not listening to him and letting our emotions get the better of us. If we would have stayed together as a group, we might still uh, he might still be here with us. Damn. Dark Realm. With the, my power to travel instantly through space, I can also take you to another place known as the Dark Realm. It's quite dangerous. The Dark Realm, what is that? It's a terrifying place filled with Genma. You receive will, uh, your resolve will be tested in the heat battles that will result on your appearance. Even for someone as strong as you, Mestoki, would, I would recommend great caution. The Dark Realm, I'll have to visit sometime. Dark Realm is a place where you just go through a wave after wave of enemies and just keep killing them. And you can get a shit ton of souls and a shit, a shit ton of items and level up a lot in there. And see, now we got our extra attacks and stuff. P-Sword is the our special weapon. Um, let's see. Uh, let's... Let's up the chain. And then up attack. Go Ohatsu, up her attack. Because her attack technically is it's kind of weak, to be honest. Uh, shop. Let's see what we can get. Bye. First, I want to max out our meds. At least on those. Uh, okay, let's check here. Dragon Offer, I believe, is a pretty shitty weapon. Wasn't it? It just like gives you a lot of, uh, gives you XP. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, it's very weak though. 15 damage, attack power. Oh, 8,000 shit. But we can't buy it. But we could sell those special uh, items we had that were worth some money right here. Oh, we have two of them. There we go. Sell that. Sell that tiger eye. We don't need that. That's trash. That's trash. Sharon, okay. Bye. Buy that. And supplies. It's important to buy these. And then we want to buy these drive meds. The thing about, uh, thing about these is that when we die, if we have Onimusha power, uh, it will instantly revive us. So it's like the Sharon Bell, but like just as powerful, pretty much. Except more powerful, actually. Because not only uh, does it prevent you from dying, if you do die, it picks you back up. Then you also get uh, more... Uh, What's it called? You regenerate health and stuff like that, but you don't get full health by the time it's over. But yeah, you get about halfway after you fill it up some. But uh, we're going to end the episode here, so yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, okay? Bye bye bitches